we're in the studio of George Rivera, and we're very honored to have Andrew here, and Andrew is commissioning a sculpture. Why don't you just tell a little bit about, about what you were just telling us? Okay, this uh, sculpture piece is going to be a, a uh, very uh, presentable piece in front of the new casino addition. We are adding another 550 rooms to the current casino, and we depicted this uh, work and commissioned it to uh, be completed by George. And what it is, it's a, it's a guessing gambling game, a traditional game that's, I don't even know, 500 years old? I'm not even sure. Yeah. But it's a traditional gambling game. And because tribes are regulated by the Indian Gaming Regulatory Act, so this game here is cited as a class one game. It doesn't really say Pion game itself, but it says in the definition of Class one gaming, it's any form of gambling that is traditionally done by tribes uh, for entertainment purposes. And this is what this game is. It's a, it's a guessing game. And Andrew, how big is this going to be? This will be nine feet tall when it's all finished. Nine feet tall. Yeah. Wow. And this, uh, this depicts uh, four players on each side and then two women singers on each side. Uh, you know, we had to watch the budget a little bit. But normally you'd have like four or five women singers uh -huh. on each side because of the backup singers. Yeah. The, end of the, the men. Oh, what a beautiful piece. And then this gentleman here is the, what we call the coimi. He's like the referee who sort of regulates the game. And uh, teams, and traditionally, teams would have to agree that this individual, you know, he's usually the most trusted and yeah. self worthy person. And this is you, right? That's me. Yeah. <laughs> Um, George, so why don't you talk a little bit about your process for people that are interested. So you make a small, small sculpture and this, and yeah. you work out all the, this, the... The maquette here is at an 18-inch scale and it'll be enlarged to just over life size. And this is going to be the signature piece at Pachanga. So when people pull up to the uh, hotel, this will be right outside of the Port of Kasher. And then um, what's it so important about uh, this piece is that it, it is reflecting of the people and their culture and something that is still ongoing today. And uh, I went to one of the tournaments where they're playing this game and I was just totally mesmerized by the whole event. And to me, it seemed very spiritual. All, all the individuals and the, and the different teams had songs that they were singing that had been passed on for generations and generations. And so... Uh, for me, it's an honor to be able to try to capture all of that, spend the time with the tribe to make sure that I'm representing them uh, in a way that, uh, you know, is going to live on forever. So mm -hmm. this, this is going to be a very important piece, not only for the Pechanga tribe, but for all the tribes that play this game and that sing those songs and participate. So I'm, I'm very fortunate to be able to, to be able to make this piece. I think what's going to happen is you're going to get all the kids off their iPads and on their iPods and they're all going to start playing these primitive games again. This is going to have a comeback and, and probably change the, the youth of America. Well, I, believe me, it's, it's very much alive in Southern California. <laughs> That's really cool. Yes. Let's take a look. George, your studio is amazing. This is the first time I've been out here. We're on the top of a hill just on the other side of Powake, uh behind Cities of Gold. This is an absolutely fantastic place. Can you just show us what, what you got Sure, here? this is the area where we work on uh, the maquettes and then we do the enlargements here. This, if you look at, that's an enlargement of Billy Mills. Yeah. Um, he's up at just over nine feet tall. And then uh, this piece is already made, there's been a mold made of it. Yeah, it's in the casting yeah. process. Here's some other large pieces from the Great Horse. Um, I, I can't keep all of the, the pieces that I make because they just take up so much space. So I, I like to keep a little bit of what I've got. Wow, oh, wow, I didn't even see this room. Look at this. This is your gallery? Is this the, is this? Yeah, that's the gallery. <laughs> Terrible views. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> As the seasons change, it's, it's right in front of us. Beautiful. Yeah. Nice. This is a, another piece that uh, I just enlarged also. Um, 
This is of my son, Valentino. He was a hoop dancer. This is a small scale version. And then we now have one uh, being cast at uh, 50 inches tall. This is where all the art supplies that I get from artisans end up on these walls here. <laughs> and the paintings are relatively new. This is kind of a this new This is a new series, yeah. yeah. Look at that. I started drawing on my iPad and then I was uh, transferring them from my iPad onto, uh, onto oil, putting them on panels with oil. And it's quite a challenge. So I do the paintings and bronzes. And for a long time, I carved in stone. You can see this is the maquette, which I turned into actually a finished piece. But this bear became this bear and black granite. Wow. Beautiful. So this is, you know, only about 1,500 pounds. Uh, it's a black granite from uh, Mongolia, and it's polished up to 3,000 grit. Wow. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, George, thank you so much for opening your studio, and Andrew, thank you for sharing, you know, some of the history of your tribe and the piece that, that George is doing for you over there, and, and uh, George, all right, you're a great friend. Thank you. Glad you came.